site that you're at currently is the former home of James Douglas. He was the mine owner of the United Verde Extension, or the Little Daisy Mine. He decided that he would build his home here, right above his mine. The first mining claims were filed in 1876. When the mines were really starting to take off around the 1880s, you had a, the professional miners, a lot of immigrants that came over from Europe. You had a lot of Slavic peoples, a lot of Welsh, Cornishmen, Irish. And later on, when the mines became so large, that's when the demographics in this town really turned to the Hispanic population. And you had a lot of professional miners that came up out of Mexico to work here in the mines. It was here solely for copper. They did get large quantities of gold, silver, and zinc as well, but it is here for copper. Now, in 1962, the sons of James Douglas approached the Arizona State Parks Board with the potential of creating a new state park for the state of Arizona. And in 1962, the Arizona State Parks Board did accept, and the park was opened in 1965 as a museum. Now when you decide to visit Jerome State Historic Park, you're going to find an all-inclusive history. The time span that we cover is approximately 1876 to around 1953 through the museum for the boom years of Jerome. As you look behind me here on the grounds of the mansion, we do have various pieces of mining equipment that would have been used in mines throughout Arizona. You can see the two original head frames that were used for the UVX mine. The larger of the two head frames here, this is called the Audrey head frame, and it does go down 1,900 feet to the low levels of the mine, and that's actually considerably farther down than the Empire State's building. And if you do come up here, you do get to actually go down there, tour that area, and you can actually stand on a piece of glass and stare down 1,900 feet down into the mine. Now when you guys come up to Jerome, you're going to often hear the term, America's largest ghost town. After the mines closed down, when the population dropped to less than 100 people, if you were here in 1955, it definitely did look like a ghost town. No homes here, no businesses, not a whole lot going on. And it has been slowly climbing back ever since. When you come up to Jerome, I highly recommend that you guys take the time to go through the museum here. Spend a little bit of time here, learn about the history of the town and what you're going to see up in town, and it's going to make it really worthwhile when you get on up in there.